Hello and welcome to the second part of our TextPad tutorial and this time we'll be installing TextPad. The first thing we're going to want to do is of course make sure our tutorial is sitting in front of us and go to the TextPad website. Here we see a very simple home page. We're going to click on downloads and if we scroll down, this is the one that we want in all likelihood. Unless you want the zip file, choose the executable. I'm going to use just that middle link right there. We'll go ahead and run this. It is super quick. Don't worry about that little warning there. The installation goes very quickly. And I'm just going to accept all the default settings and let it make the changes. And we'll go ahead and launch TextPad. Now, TextPad is good at giving us uh, little pop ups when we first open it, uh, but they do not interfere with the environment. Uh, once you open it up and get that pop up, it will leave you alone. Okay. So notice on our tutorial that there's some explicit instructions uh, about finding the compile and run commands in the tools external tool, tools menu. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you've already compiled a Java pro program before. So let's take a look at what that means. Here's your tools button. The external tools right here should show a list of commands that says something like uh, compile, uh, things like that. If it's showing what mine's showing, then we've got something wrong with the installation. And that's not a surprise since I installed this on Windows 7 64-bit that it's having a few issues. Hopefully yours already says uh, has the, the three different commands here, but if it doesn't, we need to fix that. So configure, preferences, we'll go down to tools, and we want, whoop, I should not have expanded that container, we just click on the container, we click add, and we want this right here, we want this Java SDK commands, and voila, we have compile Java, run Java application, and run Java applet, superb, okay. We're going to click OK to accept that, and just to double check, we'll go to our external tools, and there are our other commands sitting there. I do not quite know yet what to do about these three superfluous commands, uh, so I'm going to ignore them for now, and if I get a solution, I'll go ahead and post, uh, post that as a comment under this video. So, we've completed page one, and it only took us two videos. Now, uh, for the next part of this, you will need a USB drive, and what we'll be doing next is setting up a, uh, a default location on the USB drive for our TextPad uh, environment. So, go ahead and insert your uh, USB drive, and we're going to, first of all, learn a kind of a different way uh, oh no we're not we're not gonna create a file yet okay I'm gonna hold off on this next part of the tutorial and uh, create a separate video the next part goes into setting all the preferences in TextPad uh, and if I do it on this one it'll it'll make it run a little bit long so go ahead and drill down to tutorial number three uh, and we'll get your preferences set up for you